Hey everyone, I'm going for a cool colour makeover on this mouldy pine chest of drawers. It's in pretty decent condition other than the mould, so I'm going to kill that with some spray, give it a good clean and then take the handles off and get sanding. I decided to remove the lip on the top just for a slightly sleeker look. This is chalk paint from Dixie Bell in the colour Blueberry. I haven't tried this shade before and I'm a little bit nervous. It'll look too bright on this piece, but let's see. What do you think of the colour so far? Post opinions in the comments and we're now going to put it back together and do some distressing and then use some coloured wax. So here I'm using a medium grit sanding sponge to distress some of the corners, edges and handles. I'm going to go over the whole piece now with clear wax which will protect it but also give me a good base to blend my coloured waxes into. Now we're going in with this browning wax from Frenchic. I'm applying with a brush and then blending with a lint-free cloth, mostly in the corners, around the edges and the drawers. just the browning wax. You can see I haven't used loads. And now the white wax. I'll apply this in the same way but to act as a highlighter on the middle of the drawers, the sides and the top. I'll also let it build up a little bit in the crevices. Probably quite hard from far away to see that I'm actually doing anything. Just a little bit of added detail so it doesn't look too flat blue. So the idea is that the browning wax creates some depth and brings out the distressed areas that we created with the sanding sponge and the white wax provides the highlights. But tell me whether you think I've done a decent job. Should I have distressed it more? I'm erring on the side of I should have done more sanding. Let me know what you think. Oh, 
And this is the finished piece. It's a bit different to anything I've done recently and it's quite a simple look, but I'm definitely a fan of the blueberry color. Please leave your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think and keep an eye out for my next video coming very soon. Uh, pretty different to this one and involves a lot of wood stain and decoupage. Anyway, thanks for watching.